Welcome to the seventh part of our Steinway Model D Centennial Grand from 1881, the restoration series. And here at the beginning, we see the new bridge tops, which now the screw holes are filled with um, piano shanks glued in. After that, there's still gonna be um, maple maple wooden cap on top of that, so all the um, bridge top is maple then. Yeah, that's me. And um, I'm not perfectly synchronized because we do the English version after we've done the complete version, but I'm standing in front of the piano the soundboard is completely repaired and um, we're now about to repair the bridges. As you did see, um, our piano technician Daniel did fill the screw holes already with piano shanks. And after that, they get a cap of maple. And um, now you're gonna see, we put in the iron frame and um, then Daniel will um, size and mark the complete bridge with the needed um, measures for the piano course. Here you see the height of the of the bridge. And now only the iron frame needs to get in, <coughs> which is the case now. Here we see Daniel um, marking the single course of the treble section. He always takes care that the um, you always need to take care that you're in the middle of the core. You've got three cores per tune. And um, so um, you take the middle one and um, sign it on the bridge top. And as well, you need to know where to put the measuring thing. So. Um, you need to look on which side of the backside pins you have to put it on, which is marking here. So now he's measuring every middle tone of every core. So he's doing that very professional and you already see the the little maple caps over the or inside of the bridge top so you can see now every middle string of the core. After he's, he's marked everything, he's going to continue by um, 
with a special tool marking on the front and on the back of the bridge um, the three holes that you need to put three um, bridge pins in on every side. There it is. It's a very, very special new and nice tool from our German piano supply company Jan. And um, here you can see we've got different ones which, which are different wide. So you can, for every sector of the bridge, you can use different ones. So it's now point in holes and um, for later drilling of the bridge pin holes, which in every sec sector also have a different diameter. So here you can see now the whole bridge top is marked. There's the drill machine and he's now going to drill 250 or 300 holes for the bridge pins and he starts right there. Always have to take care that um, you're doing it in the right direction, that you're not breaking a, one of the, oh, I don't know the word for it, the driller, don't know, um, because it's hard to get it out of the new bridge double then, new bridge top. But he's doing that very precise and with a lot of attention, as you can see here. Quite a lot of work. You have to concentrate on it and it, as you can see, he's doing it very precise. So now all the holes are drilled and now we need the graphite top, which we've got here as a paint. And our technician Daniel is now painting the bridge top in the areas which will be still be there if he if he's working the bridge tops out. As you can see, he's not doing it for the first time. He's done it several times already. And um, he knows exactly where to, to paint the bridge top. In the part where the string's gonna run over the bridges. It's quite fast, isn't he? <laughs> Spectacular. Shit. Now he starts sawing the single um, cores, where later um, with a sharp tool, the front and end is front and end of the of the core is cut out so you need some you need some attention to do this as you can see he's he's glued a piece of paper on the front of the saw to make sure he knows how deep he's cutting into the 
sawing into the new bridge top to make everything looks equal when he's finished with the work. Not on this side, but on the other. <clears throat> also, I have to take care that you don't um, cut into the soundboard. For that, you also need to take care. So with this sharp tool now, he's doing the work to make every core exact the same looking and after that be ready to take the new bridge pins when this is finished. Precise work, you need really need a sharp tool. You can cut off the hairs of your handbag. Not handbag, but the back of your hand. If you cut hairs on that or on your arm, you can cut them off. So sharp, so sharp it is. Close up of the work Daniel is doing. So there we are now, here you can see half of the bridge done and the other half is still waiting to be worked out and this was part 7 and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, subscribe our channel, give us a thumb up, you can always ring us international 0049-2307-12125 and ask us any question you like. You're welcome. Bye until the next part. Bye.